Hello. Here we are with chapter eight, lesson number five, solving quadratic inequations. Last lesson, we were solving quadratic equations and I showed you that there are four methods to solve your quadratics. However, the same is not true when you have an inequation, which is basically an equation, but instead of an equal sign, you've got less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And to solve them, there's just one method that we want to use. And that method is, drum roll, sketching. A quadratic inequation can be solved using a sketch of the quadratic function. So imagine if I gave you this question here, x squared minus 2x minus 15 is bigger than zero. There are probably quite a few of you thinking, well, you could solve that by factorizing. If you factorize, you get x add 3, x take 5, and if you just set that bigger than 0 rather than equal to 0, then you'd say x add 3 is bigger than 0, or x take 5 is bigger than 0, but it means then that you would say x is bigger than negative 3, and you would also say x is bigger than 5. But that doesn't make sense. Which is it? Is x bigger than negative 3, or is x bigger than 5? It doesn't work when you have an inequation. You have to solve it using a sketch. So first of all, you would sketch the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 15 by factorizing and then finding the roots. If you sketch it, then you can look at the graph. And if it tells you that x squared minus 2x minus 15 is bigger than zero, well, remember this bit here, x squared take 2x take 15 is really y. You'd have y equals x squared take 2x take 15. So it's saying y is bigger than zero. And y is bigger than zero above the x-axis. So you would then see where the graph is above the x-axis. If instead you were looking to solve x squared minus 2x minus 15 is less than zero, well, again, this is really y. So you're looking for y is less than zero. And y would be less than zero, less than zero, it's fun to say, below the x-axis. Let's try a few examples. So example number one, solve x squared, take 2x, take 15, is bigger than zero. As I just said, what you want to do is first of all, factorize that. So set it equal to zero, so x squared, take 2x, take 15, equals zero. And then if you factorize, you get x add 3x take 5, as we just said. So you've got x is negative 3 and x is equal to 5. Make sure here you're just going off to the side and you're setting it equal to 0 when you factorize. If you sketch that, well, first of all, would it be a smiley face? Would it be a sad face? Smiley! Yes, because you've got an x squared. And then here it's x squared take uh, 2x take 15. x squared coefficients are positive. So you're going to have something that looks like that. So it goes through a negative 3 and 5, and it would look like that. You could also pick a value between negative 3 and 5, if you pick, for example, 4. Well, if you sub 4 in in place of x, you'll find out that you'll get a negative value. So the graph will definitely be down here. As I said, it says, since x squared is positive, the graph will be like a smiley face. What you want to do, though, is you're wanting to see where x squared take 2x take 15 is bigger than 0. And as I said, really, this is just y. Okay, it's y equals x squared take 2x take 15. So imagine y is bigger than 0. And you can see that the graph is above the x-axis here and here. So what you would then say is that x is less than negative 3. Because if x is less than negative 3, the graph is above the x-axis. And if x is bigger than 5, again, the graph is above the x-axis. So that is what you want to look for. Just pay close attention to what sign you're given. If it tells you it's bigger than or equal to 0, you would also include 0. But here, it's just saying it's bigger, so it's got to be above. It cannot be on the x-axis. Let's try another example. Example number two. Solve x squared is less than four. So for this, you probably want to rearrange it first of all, so you're going to get something is bigger than or less than zero, and you want the x squared term to be a positive. So if we subtract four from both sides, x squared take four is less than zero. And again, we're wanting to try and find this value of x. We want to solve the inequation. So to do that, set it 
equal to zero, first of all, and imagine you had to graph that. So to graph it, factorize it, well, it's a difference of two squares. So we have x minus two, and we've got an x plus two, giving us negative two and two. If we graphed x squared take 4x, well, the coefficient of x squared is a positive, which means the graph's a smiley face, so you're going to have something like that. Again, you could pick a value between them, like 0, if you sub 0 in, 0 squared take 4 is negative 4, you know the graph would be down here somewhere, so it would definitely be that shape. From there, you're wanting to go back to the original. This is it just rearranged, okay, so we're not really changing that much, we're just moving the 4 over. And we'll get x squared take 4 is less than 0, so solving that, again, we want to see, because it's less than 0, we're thinking, well, if y was less than 0, it would be, would be below the x-axis, and we can see that this graph is below the x-axis down here. So what would the value of y uh, x be? Well, it's going to be when x is between negative 2 and 2. And when it's joined up, when you've got some continual line there, you would put it together. So you're saying that x is bigger than negative 2, and you're also saying that x is less than 2. And you can see that there. Let's try another example. Example number 3. Solve x squared take 5x plus 6 is bigger than or equal to 0. So once again, set it equal to zero because you've got your quadratic in equation. You want to set it equal to zero and you want to sketch it. So first of all, factorize that. What would you get for that, Connor? Well done, x take three, x take two. Meaning the two values for x you would have, Connor? Three and two, brilliant. And would it be a, like a smiley face or a sad face, Connor? Yay! Well done. It'd be like a smiley face. Okay, the coefficient of x squared is positive, which means you'd have something like that. And we cross the x-axis at 2 and 3. Now, you can go back to this in equation, and you can see here that you're wanting to solve it for um, x squared, take 5x, plus 6 is bigger than or equal to 0. So, you want to think, right, well, if it's bigger than 0, it's above the x-axis. So you're wanting to highlight any parts that are above the x-axis. So you're going to have this part here, and you're going to have this part here. But it also says, or equal to 0. So it's bigger than or equal, so you need to also include these points where it's touching the x-axis. So you would say that x is less than or equal to 2, because when it's equal to 2, it's on the x-axis, which means it's at 0. And when it's less than that, you can see the graph is above. And you would also say that x is bigger than or equal to 3. Again, you can see that there above the x-axis. Example 4. Solve 15 plus 2x minus x squared is bigger than or equal to 7. Here we've got a negative x squared, so if you sketch that, you would get a sad face. However, what you want to do is you want to rearrange it first of all to get a positive value for the x squared. Because if you have a negative for the x squared, it makes factorizing difficult, so rearrange this first. So if you rearrange this, what I would do is I would add x squared to both sides. After that, well, because x squared would be on the right-hand side, I'd probably get rid of everything else on the left. So subtract 2x from both sides, subtract 15 from both sides. If you do that, that is what you would end up with. You would then think I've got an x squared, I've got a minus 2x, and 7 take away 15 is negative 8. So you can write that as x squared take 2x, take 8, and that would be less than 0. Imagine if you simplified this. If you read it backwards from right to left, you would say that this side here is less than zero. So I'm rewriting it back to front. Okay, so that's less than zero. From there, if you wanted to solve that, this is the equation that we're now looking at because you're writing it back to front. So this is the one that we want. So you would take that and you would imagine that that was equal to zero. So if it was equal to zero, to solve that, to graph it, you would have to factorize. Factorizing that, you would end up with, woo, x take four, x plus two. 
meaning then x would be 4 and negative 2. That's the roots of this quadratic. With that then, is it going to be a smiley face or a sad face? Some people saying smiley, some people saying sad. Well, if you look at it here, we've got a negative x squared, so you're thinking sad face. But remember, we rearranged that. So it's now this one that we are looking at. Okay, it's the positive x squared. And this is the one that we factorized. This is what we solved. So we're now thinking about this graph here. We've got roots at negative 2 and 4, so you can show that. And because you're wanting to look at this one, you would see when it's less than or equal to 0. So since x squared is now positive, as I said, this is one we want, the graph will be a smiley face. So thinking about when the uh, quadratic in the equation is it less than or equal to 0, well, when it's less than or equal to 0, you're just thinking when it's below the x-axis, Okay, when the graph would be a negative. And what you would say for that one, if we get the right pen, Below the x-axis, you would just have between negative 2 and 4. And again, pay close attention. Is it less than or less than or equal to? Well, if you look at it, it says less than or equal to. Okay, so you've also got to include or equal to. So you would say it's below the x-axis between negative 2 and 4, which is what we've got here, but it could also be equal to. Let's try one more example. Example number 5. Solve 4 is bigger than 4x minus x squared. Again, you've got a negative for the x squared. So you could always go around along and factorise that, but it would end up confusing. What you want to do is you want to rearrange this, first of all, so you get a positive value for the x squared. So if you do that, I would add x squared to both sides. So we'd have x squared plus 4 is bigger than 4x. But then I've got a 4x over here. I always want to have 0 on one of the sides. So then subtract 4x from both sides. Doing that, if you rearrange it, this is what you would have. So this is what we are now looking at. So we are now looking at this one. If you then solve that, you would have to set it equal to 0 first. So just go off to the side, set it equal to 0. Factorise that. If you factorise it, what would you end up with? Well done, man. Well done. You'd have x minus 2, x minus 2. Or in other words, x minus 2 all squared. Meaning then the value for x is 2. Woohoo! And since x squared is now a positive, remember we rearranged it, then you would say that it's going to be a smiley face that you are wanting. So this is the graph that you would have. And the root, the only root, is going to be 2. So the graph is just going to come down, it's going to touch at 2, and then go back up again. What we want to solve, though, is that when x squared minus 4x plus 4 is bigger than 0, and you can see it is bigger than 0 when the graph is above the x-axis. So it's above here, and it's above here. The only place that it's not is going to be just bang on 2. So you can say that different ways. What you could say is that x is less than 2. So solving that, again, you want to see when it's above the x-axis, that's when x is less than 2, and it's also when x is bigger than 2. So you can say when x is less than 2, when x is bigger than 2, and you can word it different ways as well. You could also say x belongs to r. In other words, x could be any number you want. x is just a real number, but x is not equal to 2. Try some of these. Remember, whenever you solve the quadratic in equations, you have to, have to, have to set it equal to 0, do a sketch, and then look at when it's above or below the x-axis. Good luck with these. Have fun. More sketching.